Hi, hi. Welcome to the Chikala Kitchen, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we are going to make spaghetti with roasted tomatoes and breadcrumbs. This is an old favorite that I actually had on my blog way back when. It is delicious. Not difficult to do. Takes a little bit of time just in prep, but really no big deal. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients right now. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna to do to prep and then we'll be back. So what I have here is I have some, I'm doing a mix of pancetta and prosciutto. You can do all pancetta, all prosciutto. You can mix it, your choice. I have about 15, 18 small tomatoes. Camparis are perfect. I love them, they're sweet. I have some, I have about five cloves of pressed garlic. I have about five anchovies. You will not taste anchovies, I promise. I have, I think I measured out about three cups of my fresh breadcrumbs that I seasoned. I think I talked about this in another video. You can use any breadcrumbs you typically like to use. I like to use my fresh breadcrumbs. They're slightly coarser. Um, I do them in my food processor, but anything you use is fine. Season them up well. Parsley, basil, cheese, garlic, onion, all the good stuff in there. And hang on. Some rosemary, some parsley, some thyme, and some basil that I'm going to mince up. So I'm gonna put this down here. Okay, so what I'm gonna start by doing is I'm going to saute the prosciutto and pancetta and render off all that fat so it gets nice and crispy. And I'm gonna remove them from the pan and I'm gonna put about half of this garlic in there. Saute it for maybe 30 seconds because we don't wanna burn the garlic. And then I'm gonna add in the anchovies and mash them in with a wooden spoon. Now, this is where we add olive oil. About a quarter cup should do it. This is one of those recipes where you pull out the good stuff. This, you're really gonna taste the olive oil, so I always keep a couple of bottles of the good stuff. Um, this is Frantoia. I also have Lucchini. This is not my everyday cooking olive oil, but for a recipe like this, it's time to pull out the good stuff. So I'm gonna add some olive oil to the pan. I'm going to make sure those um, anchovies dissolve. And I'm going to take, what I'm doing is I'm taking the tomatoes and I'm just cutting off the tops. You can see what I'm doing here. You can make your life easier if you have one of these little grapefruit spoons that have these serrated edges. Go around the edges. You can do this with a little paring knife probably just as easily. I'm taking out all the seeds and watery part because I don't want this to be watery. Setting the shell aside. Again, taking out the seeds. I'm setting this aside because I'm gonna chop up this inside part. We're gonna use it in our sauce. I'm gonna throw this out. So when I'm done with all that, we'll be back. And we're gonna be boiling up, when all this is ready to go, a pound of spaghetti. And before I forget, I also have in the oven at 375, that oven's heated at 375, I have two large heads of garlic. Cut the tops off, douse them with olive oil, and they're wrapped in aluminum foil. They're gonna be in there for between 45 minutes and an hour till they get nice and soft, because we're gonna squeeze them out and roasted garlic is gonna be part of this dish. This is a yummy one. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so this is the garlic that I roasted. Squeezed it out of the um, heads, so it's nice and mushy. Here's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna move this aside, bring up my tomatoes. You're gonna put just a little bit of this mashed garlic in the bottom of each tomato. Try to divide it up just a little bit in the bottom of each tomato. Now, once you do that, 
you're going to take the breadcrumb mixture that's nice and golden and toasted and flavored because we sauteed it with the garlic and the anchovies and it's already been seasoned prior and you're going to mound it into those tomatoes you're going to try to pat it down and mound it a little bit we're going to take half of these chopped herbs those herbs that i showed you before you've minced them up you're going to take about half of them and sprinkle them over the top and then you're going to take that good olive oil and you're going to drizzle it over the top of these tomatoes into that 375 oven and it's going to take anywhere from honestly depending on your oven it could take anywhere from 25 to 60 minutes i'm going to say 30 to 40 in my oven till they get a little bit brown but don't let them collapse pull it out and we'll be back in the meantime set your water to boiling for your spaghetti when this comes out we'll be ready to go see you in a bit okay here we go and we'll see you in a few okay we're ready to finish this up now pasta's almost done here we have our pancetta we took the tomatoes out and i put them on a plate and i've got the pan they were cooked in and i saved any juices here because we're going to use them i have some olive oil in the pan i used to toast the breadcrumbs before i didn't even wash it Here's the rest of that garlic we had from before and the tomato pulp that I chopped up. So we are going to saute that for a little bit. We don't want the garlic to burn, but we want to soften this up a little. I have a little bit of pasta water here to loosen this sauce up. husband just took Nova out front and I told him not to keep her out too long because it's way too hot. Okay. We're going to check on this pasta. See how we're doing. This is how an Italian checks. We just taste it. Pretty darn perfect. Okay, oops, so here we go. We are going to saute this just another second or two. We are going to take the pasta. We don't even need a colander here. Right in the pan. Here we go. because we don't waste any flavor right in here we're going to add that pancetta we're going to mix this up if you feel it's a little dry toss in some of that pasta water this looks pretty good. We have the extra breadcrumbs over there. I'm going to toss in some of these herbs. Okay, guys, is that not beautiful? Check that out. Piece de resistance. Sprinkle of cheese on top. This is Pecorino Romano. Use whatever you choose, your favorite. Buon cibo, buon amici, good food, good friends. Have a wonderful evening. Come back and see us again.